Mars is the most studied planet after Earth because of speculations that there might be water beneath the surface and its similarities to Earth. We call it the Red Planet for pretty good reason. Its surface is made of a thick layer of oxidized iron dust and rocks of the same color. The dust that covers the surface of Mars is fine like talcum powder. Beneath the layer of dust, the Martian crust consists mostly of volcanic basalt rock. The surface has huge volcanoes that were formed by successive eruptions millions of years ago. Powerful landslides may speed down Martian slopes at up to 450 miles per hour. Unlike Earth, the red planet has no tectonic plates that ride on the mantle to reshape the terrain. The mantle of Mars is between 770 and 1170 miles thick and unlike Earth, it is made up of soft rocks. The soil of Mars also holds nutrients such as sodium, potassium, fluoride and magnesium. The crust is between 6 and 30 miles thick. Like Earth, the interior of Mars has undergone a process known as differentiation. This is where a planet, due to its physical or chemical compositions, forms into layers, with denser materials concentrated at the center and less dense materials closer to the surface. The core of Mars is between 1050 to 1150 miles in radius and is composed primarily of iron, nickel and sulfur. The core is dormant and therefore lacks a magnetic field that protects the planet from space radiation. Radiation makes the planet uninhabitable without protective wear. There are also signs of ancient fluids on Mars, but now water mostly exists in icy dirt and thin clouds. On some Martian hillsides, there is evidence of liquid salty water in the ground. As for the Martian atmosphere, it is too thin to support life and also consists of 95% carbon dioxide. Temperatures there range from 70 degrees Fahrenheit to about minus 225 degrees. The extremely thin air on Mars can also become very dusty. Dust from the planet's surface is routinely kicked up in the atmosphere by giant dust devils, not unlike tornadoes on Earth. In some instances, dust storms cover the planet wholly or partially. At times, it even snows on Mars, but the Martian snowflakes are made of carbon dioxide rather than water. 